Hello, my lovely Leos. I am regrettably behind on these readings, and I do apologize. I uh, had a family emergency out of state, so I am currently um, filming this from my mother's RV, <laughs> but I'm doing my best. Um, so I do have your love reading for the next 30 days. I am still going to call this June 2020 for my own, just to, just to keep track of it, okay? So let's see. Um, as usual, time is very fluid in tarot. Whenever you see this is when you're meant to. Also, there is no gender in tarot. So if I say he or she or there's a card that has a, a male or a female on it, just ignore that. It's just the energy of the card. Also, this is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. I encourage you to check your um, moon, rising, and Venus signs also. Um, anything else? Cross watchers, welcome. All right, spirit, what do we have in store for my lovely Leo? Love reading, June 2020. What do we have? Bottom of the deck, Ten of Swords. Ending of something ridiculously painful. All right. on here okay I am a fire sign myself I'm a Leo so I always take special interest in these but I definitely try and clear my mind and my energy so that I can pick up on others and not myself so hopefully I was successful okay it looks like your current energy right now is the nine of Pentacles um, you are alone but you're okay with that you've got everything you need you're successful you're abundant you're beautiful you've got a bird you know, you've got your money in order. You are where you want to be, and you're okay with that. In your mind, you're like, you know, I've got nine pentacles. If I got a tenth one, that would be great. If not, I'm cool right here, okay? But uh, here comes something, someone, like coming in hot. Knight of Swords, fastest knight in the deck, does not stay long, brings in the information or the message of whatever it is, and gets right on out okay and this is very this is very um clear energy the swords are um air signs so uh libra gemini aquarius right yeah that's right okay and it looks as though what he's bringing in is a relationship a divinely guided couple the death card is right after that so i feel like this is a situation where because, you know, we have this, we have this lover's card and we have this death card, all right? And we have this knight of swords riding towards this single lady, okay? So I feel like this death card is showing up because someone is ending something somewhere else to come into union with you. That That's what I feel like this is happening here with this death card. Um, we've got uh, the king of pentacles, daddy with a pentacle here, okay? Um, this is the energy of, you know, a, a grounded energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth energy. Um, this is, you know, somebody who is um, probably a father who has a family who is very stable, very sturdy. He's kind of the rock of the family. You can always count on him. Um, he's very down to earth and grounded, obviously. It, it, this is kind of the um, one step up would be the emperor. So this king of pentacles is a, is a pretty good energy to be. And I... I see this this uh, King of Pentacles is right now he's either holding on for sure success or he's he's being very grounded okay he's not moving very quickly 
And this could be your energy too. I mean, it's, it's vice versa. But on the other side of that, we have this empress. And I really feel like this is this king of pentacles holding on for sure success for this empress. Okay, because this nine of pentacles is pretty close to empress energy. This is my single ladies card, right? And this empress is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy also, okay? You know, but the empress is, is going one step farther. She is perpetually pregnant, which sounds no good to me, but whatever. But she's um, abundant, fruitful, successful, loving, kind, nurturing, healing, all of the things that you would want in a, in a partner, okay? And I really feel like this king of pentacles here sees you as this empress, okay? You're in this nine of pentacles energy, but he, he really sees you as his empress. And I feel like this, this, with this, um, what is this? Seven of wands. Good Lord. I can't think straight today with this seven of wands. I feel like he has really, um, had to put up a, a fight for, for this decision for whatever it was that he, that's coming to an end, you know, this person really had to stand their ground and know what they want and be prepared to fight for it. Because, you know, look at all these, these issues, these rods here coming, coming towards him. And he's like, no, I am going to beat this down. I'm going to defeat it because I want, I want my Leo. I want, I want my, I want my Leo. Okay. And he is victorious because here he is. Cancerian energy doesn't have to be coming in hot. Okay. The chariot is fast forward movement, victory, victory with clarity of mind, victory with success in mind. Okay. May very well be a reconciliation, but whatever it is, it's, it brings you happiness. You're dancing and singing and celebrating. And the three of cups sometimes can be a third party energy, but I really think there maybe was a death to that third party energy or a death to that relationship that this person was in before. Um, because I see this as celebration and, you know, a lot of times, I see, you know, the three of pentacles can also be, you know, you spirit and your, your partner, but whatever the case, you know, it's happy. It's good. It's a good thing. Okay. This cycle of pain for you, my Leos is over. Okay. No more. Are you going to be in this, this 10 of swords pain? Okay. Oh, and look what we have here. The emperor. So now we have, once you guys come together, we have this King of Pentacles energy transforming into the Emperor energy. So now we have the ultimate power couple on the board, okay? And, and I feel like there's been a lot of um, peanut gallery information, people talking about it, not wanting this relationship to work. Just don't listen to them. Just don't do it. Because you're seeing things from a different perspective or you're dealing with a Pisces. You know, this is, this is you know, the hanged man is seeing things from a different perspective. Okay. And here's your fiery new beginning with this, with this person. Whoa. And here's your 10 of pentacles. Hot damn. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Love and light.